beauty so as some of you may know I got the keratin treatment done on my hair a couple of months ago and I actually filmed me getting it done the whole process I'll link it up above if you want to go watch that. I asked you if you guys wanted to see this video on the products that I use to maintain my keratin treatment because you can't really use the same products you used to use there's if you really want your treatment to last as much as possible, there's just certain ingredients that you should and should not use. Alright guys, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you everything I use from shampoos, conditioners. So have dry shampoos, some oils. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a shampoo that I like to use and this is specifically for like keratin treatment this is from the brand keratin complex is very popular for people that have um the keratin treatment on their hair and i have very sensitive skin so none of these have irritated me or anything really sensitive scalp smoothing therapy and this is keratin color care shampoo so i like this because not only do i have keratin but i also have my hair dyed so it protects my hair really well and you know with every wash your keratin treatment strips strips now again you can use any 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 product that you wish is up to you but this is just a recommendation if you want it to last longer because it's a pretty price process for it to like not really last and i wash my hair every day which i know is not good so i really really try my products to be as good as possible and this runs for like 19 dollars and this is a keratin enriched formula this is sulfate free which is very important that's the first thing they tell you make sure it's sulfate free it has no salts so as natural as possible for the conditioner i use from the same brand smoothing therapy and this is the keratin complex and this is the keratin care conditioner keratin enriched this is very gentle on your hair I just leave it like for two minutes and I rinse it off mix and match them it's okay I used to use a purple shampoo before from AG but it wasn't sulfate free or anything and like I said I want this treatment to last as long as possible so I looked for one that was um, sulfate free paraben free and I found this one from BioSilk and this is the color therapy and is the cool blonde shampoo and this is a new bottle because I'm done with my first one. I really use it like two times a week and that's what it looks like. It's just really purple from BioSilk. And I believe I got this baby for like eight, nine dollars. It's just really good for to maintain your color and for not to get yellow and brass. Love this brand. I've used this brand even before I got the keratin treatment. It's just so good for you and it's so inexpensive. It's really affordable and is by the brand A Cure. Now, even though you have a keratin treatment, you still have to clarify your hair, um, clarifying shampoo, cleansing shampoo, um, maybe twice a week once a week whatever you desire it depends how how many products you use so this is from the brand a cure and this is the clarifying shampoo and i love this and this is good for or all hair types and it's just gonna like take off all that um residue of all the products you put in your hair this is vegan sulfate free paraben free cruelty free i just love this i know you could get it online of course i'll try to put as many products as i can down below if i find the links to them very important to like clarify you whether you have a keratin treatment or not and then i like to use this one and this is for some volume because my hair is I'm not gonna have a lot of volume because I have the keratin treatment but like maybe like for my roots a little this is the same one a cure and this is the shampoo and this is the pure mint how do you say that echinacea I don't know stem cell basically this is the blue one from a cure and this is for volume so it's just really nice again the same thing color safe vegan gluten free sulfate free paraben free cruelty free and is 100% biodegradable, is no synthetic fragrance. I mean, this is really good and they're affordable. They're really, really affordable and I've got in mine in Marshall. They're really affordable ones. Like you see, I use a lot of different kinds, but I've always changed up my shampoos. I don't like for my hair to get used to any product, so 
this is just several options for you and then there's this other one from the brand is called Rimpure originals and this is the biotin and collagen one and this is a thickening shampoo and this has zero sulfates no parabens no gluten no no bad stuff thickening shampoo but it just has biotin and collagen this must be like five dollars and it's a 16 ounce again it's from rempure originals it says pump up the volume with biotin and collagen shampoo our volumizing formulation provides your beautiful strands of hair with an infusion of vitamin 7 biotin while collagen and keratin help to create thick full beautiful hair other affordable um, conditioner I bought this at Target I believe and this is from the brand Cantu Cantu and this is shea butter now I this does not weigh my hay down my hay oh lord have mercy this does not weigh my hair down obviously I never put conditioner in my roots just like the ponytail and down but this is moisture to enhance color vibrancy and this is especially for color treated hair which is mine anti-fade and this has no silicones no mineral oil no sulfates no formaldehyde no gluten no parabens so it's really really natural it's really good and this must be like five dollars as well and you this is a 13 now moving on to leave in conditioners which i cannot get out of the shower and just like start styling my hair my hair is so tangly no matter what i need a leave-in conditioner well, the first thing i'm going to show you is this one which is very popular and this is by the brand it's a 10 and i have this one it's almost done and i recently just purchased the same one but with keratin and this is more in the pricier side this is probably like 20 something dollars 29 or something like that but it's a leave-in conditioner 10 things so it detangles controls frizz prevents split ends, stop hair breakage flat iron spray and thermal protectant so if you're gonna style your hair this does all of these things for you and it adds shine so it's really good I really like this when I come out of the shower while it's still a little wet I just apply this and just blow dry my hair I don't have to iron it anymore and this is the look I get which I would have never gotten before the keratin treat Another option I have for a leave-in conditioner this is more like of a cream kind and if not if you want a spray then I have this one from milkshake and this is the leave-in conditioner and it's for all hair types and this is with milk proteins honey and fruit extracts this smells like cupcake okay if you love products that smell delicious this one smells delicious you could get it I believe for like $15 and it's an 11 ounce it's so good I just spray it all over my hair I do do the roots as well and it does not weigh my hair for professional salons it's made in Italy is really good I love this brand how it smells I've been using it forever even before the keratin and it's just really good and it adds protein back to your hair also have here a dry shampoo just in case you don't want to wash your hair a lot to prolong even more I can't I have to wash my hair my hair is so oily I know they say you have to train your hair but this is just what I do I used to have the what's it called the Batiste but that's just that's the ingredients if it was before I would use it without a problem but like I said I'm trying to prolong this treatment as much as possible so I found this one on Amazon and it's called also lifted styling powder and this is with natural China clay aloe vera soothing matte finish and it's very natural and it's free of alcohol sodium chloride and paraben free and that's everything you need like if you saw the video when I got my treatment done she said not only do you have to be aware of of products that have sodium but you also don't want it to have alcohol and believe me that is so hard for it not to have like both you need to go like to an organic place or something but it's very hard like I said these most of them are really good but it's really hard to find something without both so this is what I found it was really it was expensive this is extremely tiny but it's it's just like a white powder Oof, and it's really messy but I wouldn't use the Batiste or anything like that 
because the first ingredients are usually like alcohol now for a serum like what I apply to my ends I've always used like an oil and I got this one from the brand Rusk this is what it looks like I've used it like since I got my keratin treatment and this is just how much I've used it's gonna last so long I got it for $10 at Marshall's is usually $18 but I got it so I got two of them and the reason I got this one is because it's alcohol free and like I said she said it's very important that you stay away from alcohol in your products as well because alcohol strips keratin and also the sodium sulfate so this one is a thermal serum and it's pure argan oil that's so good I apply maybe like two drops that's all I need because I have very short hair and thin so that is what I have for my serum yeah, you guys requested this video so I hope it helped I hope it gave you some ideas if you guys have any other suggestions leave them down below yeah, thanks guys so much for watching if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if it helped and I'll see you guys in my next video